I have three fours and three fifths. Three fours and three fifths, my lord. All right. Nice. So, so now that we are starting here, uh, Texans have done a bunch of moves, but they still hold the first overall pick. They're uh, which is actually really the Bears pick. This draft. That's true. That is actually the Bears pick. Which they're I mean, uh, they're the ones really in control here. Yeah, which I mean sucks for the Bears user because he trade mm -hmm. or obviously in real life they traded for Fields and then he threw like sixty interceptions. Yeah, so. Fields still usable. He's down to a seventy-three overall after pick regression. Oh yeah, he's still usable, but not what you'd be hoping for, uh, putting so much into him. No, after how much he gave up. No, not not exactly. So Texans can go a couple ways here. You know, Daniel Jones is on his last year. He's regressed a little. Yeah. Uh, he has not earned any dev. Quarterback is definitely on the board here for the Texans. They can consider it. Um, I imagine safety is not going to be exactly what uh, what he's going with. Yeah, because they still have Justin Reed, I think, unless they traded him. No, they don't. They traded him to Seattle. Justin Reed's not there anymore. Oh, of course they did. Just letting you guys know I'm here. I'm just looking at the roster he's right now. To... Sounds good. He's just here to talk shit. I think... I'm not gonna. I, you know right. what? I'm actually gonna give. I'm a, I'm a journalist. <laughs> I I have integrity that I have to push towards as people it seems. I'm gonna give good insight. Oh, Ty. So, um, unless it's the Giants. You can help me get interviews for Game of the Week. Wait, say that again. So I said, if you're a journalist, you can help me get interviews for Game of the Week. I can do that. I ask my question. This, we still have. Thibodeau and Stingley to consider. Both would be massive upgrades for him. Do the Texans still have the number one pick? They traded out of the third, right? That was the one they traded? The, yeah, they yeah, traded the third the round pick. pick they traded down to 16? No, then they traded down again, didn't they? They The, the Texans have a lot of seconds and thirds now. They yeah, traded it's down funny a lot. how now the, the, the Broncos, when the, the draft order they put in is now no longer <laughs> completely correct. <laughs> and he put it's it in fantasy. six hours Jeez. ago. Um, very far well, off. That's why I said when I was going to start this mock, I said I want you all to kind of settle your shit first. <laughs> okay, well, okay, everything, there's no more trades I've acted, so now the... The Raiders have picked six. Mm -hmm. Vikings have picked eleven. I'm I'm gonna go Saints with a different up? thought process here. Yeah, the, the, Saints, the Saints got picked seven. Moved up a little. Is anyone yeah, in Madden seven. to or to like update or the draft order? And... Actually, no, yeah, let me let me yeah, I'm in Madden right now. Let me I'm in check. Madden too. No, Texans are at seven now. That's where they traded down to. Saints are at sixteen, eighteen. Saints traded up to pick seven. So they have pick seven now? Yes. Y'all see the PFG approved that trend? one. Okay, I didn't see that. All right, so Saints are at seven now. What pick did they give up to do that? 16? They gave up 16, yeah. Yeah, so the Texans are at 16. Okay, I thought they were. So that's why they were down there. Okay, so I mean, if you're the Texans here, as much as you want probably Thibodeau or Stingley, now that you've moved. That like you have the choice of quarterbacks here. Do you really like you see how many people are coming up for them, right? We see a lot of guys trading up trying to get QBs. Yeah, Raiders and each other. Saints both did. Yeah, and do you really want to wait? Yep, Vi uh, Vikings are still at eleven. They potentially could grab one. So here's the idea. Uh, I think I think at the end of the day, what what's gonna be on their heads, like as a choice, if I was the Texans. It depends on what mm -hmm. you trust in Daniel Jones. It's Daniel Jones, like Daniel Jones this year is up for his fifth year option. It, you can take yep. it and hold it a year and hold on one more year and hope that the next draft class could be better. Because yeah, Daniel Jones EA. isn't, isn't a bad is he quarterback. I, isn't he already claimed? Isn't, isn't he on his fifth year right now? Because he's part of yes. the 2018 draft, wasn't he? Did, well, did he the Giants pick it up? Yeah. That's the question. Yeah, they did in real life. Yeah. Okay. So yeah. yeah so right now so he's on his fifth year right now. So he's about to have one more year with Daniel Jones, no matter what. Yeah. Wait, are you sure? It I'm depends. Pretty sure, I'm pretty sure I it's not he... yet. It's not in the game yet. Because. Has he well, wait. Was, was that the 2019 draft? Yeah, the 2019 oh, right. draft is when they got him in Haskins. 
So he has the option now. He is in 29, so he can claim it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Hmm. So Very I would, interesting. If he, if I'm, if, at the point right now, if you like the quarterbacks that are out there, if there's one that you like, I say get it. Otherwise, my, I my well. idea is I take the fifth-year option and hope that the next year has somebody who stands out. Mm-hmm. I'm going to be honest. I don't think he's going to yeah. pick it up because I, he hasn't posted Jack Diddley squat in the fifth-year option that's, chat. That's exactly what I'm thinking. Like He's, he's still yeah. got a couple days to post it. Uh, but I we mean, it is getting close. I don't say also, Jones is I, not I a have, bad quarterback. I think I, I've seen him say that he mm-hmm. isn't thinking of going QB number one, but he'd consider it with sixteen. Yep. So he might be like waiting to see he if wants the to draft see fall, so. shuffles out. Like if Strong falls, which he probably won't now, or if uh, Willis falls, he Malik, probably won't. won't. And like maybe he trusts one of uh, the lower guys. Mm-hmm. To be his QB of the future, or maybe he just wants to stick by Jones. But then, so then, what's you know the what? Idea? I it's think because you you just got. I'm looking at this. Mm. We're looking at this right now. He's got a superstar left and right end. He's got. He, he just got Marcus it, Peter. Oh, he still has. He's got Cam Jordan. I forgot yep. about that. He's still, he and just got, got Marcus right? Peter. So do you go safety? I don't know. I don't know if you do that. You go, if you go is for Kyle Hamilton really worth the first overall pick though? Derek Stingley. Really, like, in terms of first. talent, I'd say yes. In terms of positional value, that's up to the Texans. First time viewer, Drizzy Wayne. Welcome. Because, like, in terms of who's the, talent... Wait, who's the other superstar? Is it Greenard? Menu. At Edge. A Menu. It could be him. It could be, it could be a safety. I just don't. Well, I, could, if he's comfortable at edge, I don't feel comfortable picking Thibodeau here. I mean, he could be getting Peter, so he can pair him up with Stingley, and at a strength it's either going to be Stingley or a quarterback. It's either Stingley he or could quarterback. Could yeah. Thibodeau flip Jordan though for more picks next year. But he just yeah, traded Jordan's for him value too. is really yeah. Jordan's value is really low right now. It is not going up, especially after a really lackluster year. Um, I'm going to go Derek Stingley first. I think he's going to go with the high-end player to start. Yeah, I'd agree. Like, you secure the talent, you leave the quarterback questions for later, and, like, if if all the quarterbacks are gone, you can just trust next year's draft, like, mm-hmm. knowing that none of the guys in this year's were, like, a Trevor Lawrence or a Joe Burrow, and just roll out with Daniel mm-hmm. Jones. Yeah, I think he's just gonna go with what what oh, he yeah. has. Oh yeah, he could go tackle. Leaves. I would, Evan Neal. I, I don't, don't think, think you go. Will. I don't think you go tackle. So in the first no. pick, that's a pretty big pick. Like, in big the player. past, Eric Fisher was good, but not first overall pick worthy. And then did Jake Locker go first overall? Oh wait, no, he won't be taking tackle. He traded for Donovan Smith. Oh, yeah. that's true. And he's that's true. still got Laramie Tunsil. Yeah, and he's got on the other side, he's got Marcus Cannon still. I was going to say, if you yeah. go something like that, you would have to trade down. I would Damn, he has a lot down, of money tied up in tackles right now. Yeah, he's getting depth trying to protect Daniel Jones. Makes sense. Uh, now that we're on Broncos, I think this is pretty straightforward that this is Kayvon. He's moved Chubb. He doesn't have Vaughn Miller anymore. Like, his edge class needs some work. Yeah, that's um, yeah especially yeah. after training... Broncos, yeah, they they just traded Chubb, didn't they? They Chubb, traded yeah, Chubb, they and they also Chubb went and acquired and Sam Darnold. Yeah, they went and acquired Sam Darnold as well, who they like. Uh, they still have Locke under contract. Teddy's hit, uh, Teddy is hitting free agency. Man. So I think they're probably going to run with what they have. Imagine imagine if they took Fields. Imagine how different this world would be, because they wouldn't mm-hmm. have traded for Darnold. The Panthers wouldn't have had... um. A trade partner, they'd still have him under contract. Like the Bears wouldn't have it, gotten it, yeah. different it's universe. It's crazy how this all worked out. We do have the Ravens next. Did they end up trading Chuck Clark? Are they gone? No, uh, they did not no, trade Chuck Clark. Remember, we had him take it out. Yeah. Even so, I think there's no way he doesn't go Evan Neal and then and uh. Well, yeah, maybe by trading because he wanted to trade Marcus Peters and Chuck Clark. So I'm assuming he was gonna go. Safety Kyle corner, because since he has back-to-back picks. Yeah, and and he. You think he's gonna go with uh, Kyrie that... though? Kyrie this early? 
I don't think oh. he'll go there because he said he would go uh, Stingley if he fell. Yeah, I three, think he's but... hoping Stingley drops past the top oh. two. Yeah, oh, they, I think, I think if Stingley falls either. past Texans, I think he will. If he falls past Texans, because Broncos are stacked at corner. That's the last thing they need. I could use Derek Stingley. You're not getting you with Wolf aging. Hey, you can't rule out Lily. Don't either. they have Stokes and Alexander? So like. Yeah, and then you want to makes... know what my cornerback depth chart is going to be after that? Fucking Kadar Holman and Shamar Jean Charles. Yeah, but then you're basically wasting Stokes because like you can put him in the slot, but he's better than that. I'd probably mm. move Jair to the slot. I'm just looking at. Oh, well, that's I don't four. see any way that this is Kyle Hamilton. I just don't see it. I think this has to be Neil and Leal. It fills two really needed positions. Well, if you draft uh, Hamilton, then you have a sub linebacker to replace Queen in coverage downs. Sure, but I think he likes Queen. I think he's fine with him. Well, not there. Queen, but whoever your other linebacker is. Well, yeah, he does like Queen because he had him in um the breakouts or not breakouts player reviews. Yeah. So I I think he likes Queen where he is, and I think he's comfortable. Like Chuck Clark also can come down and. And I know you were trying to move him originally, but Who's without you being safety? able to move him, Deshaun Elliott, he's under contract. I okay, correctly. yeah, they're both under contract. Like, he was prepared to move him, but he said he threw it in because he thought we wouldn't accept it otherwise. I don't think he wanted yeah. to. So I think take the best right tackle here since Orlando Brown, who I know was a trade or a, a free agency target of him, any... take the best tackle. Is there any chance and then pick they the take best guy here on the interior? The Marvin Leal to replace Clayus Campbell. That's who I'm what having to pick saying. with the fourth overall pick. They're gonna go Neal then Leal. I feel so good. Oh, that Leal. Time. I thought you. I thought. I thought you were talking about a corner for some reason. I don't know why. No, I don't think this will be Kyrie. Well, yeah, since I we had the Texans so. take Stingley, I th I think. Yeah, yeah. yeah so that's uh, what we had. Yes, Texans took Stingley first. So yeah, I don't think he's going corner then. No, I think yeah. he's going to do the, the trenches. I think that makes the most sense. It's where he's weak right now, and he needs to be strong yeah. for that. I still think team. he's, he's going to go with, with the safety, but I, I mean. Do. It's possible. I mean, here's the thing. I think even if we do, because I'm probably going to do Kyle Hamilton next for the Jags. It makes the most sense. You're, you're uh, missing that they the pick Panthers. something that's needed. Yeah, because don't they have. No, the like, Panthers traded down. They, traded, Jenkins. They, they had four. Ah, so who's four then? Four is the Ravens again. They have two top. Five picks. Oh yeah, that that happened. I forgot that they traded both of them. Yeah, so they're yeah. getting Neil and the Ravens will be mortgage the future. Yeah, Neil and Neil. I mean that's that's good for marketing. <laughs> yeah, and then like, I think uh, Charvarius, Kyle Hamilton for, for Jags makes sense. Reminds me of uh, the Rugrats, Phil and Lil. Oh my Neil god. And Neil. <laughs> <laughs> Mock draft is going so, off the rails. Uh, that is past my time. Oh very so much. Comment. So the the biggest question now is now that Raiders are up, I think we know this is quarterback. It's just which one. He it's said, got, he, it's I have, be, uh, or it's I have, Malik I have Willis, strong right? sources that it's Willis, yeah. That's got to be Willis. I think it has to be. He likes the mobility. It's the most guy who emulates Mariota, who would be his mentor here. And the yeah, biggest he upside. He mobility. He I guess. Probably the biggest stated, upside. He's currently number one. Yeah, he previously said TV. he didn't like Carr because of his immobility. Like, and Malik Willis. I think it's pretty low here. And run around. I mean, I guess. Man. I don't know. Like, and that, and to me, if I would, I don't know. If, going up there, I guess you would take Willis. But my idea mm -hmm. is that you're just trading a guy who has no mobility and an okay arm for a guy that might be able to get you out of the pocket in a league where everybody does, like, contains. But you don't know if you're going to throw any better. Like, if you're complaining about... Yeah. Missing flat routes and missing running backs and stuff like that. That's getting easier with a new quarterback. But on? it's his choice. So do you think it's strong then or Corral? I th I'm thinking it's Willis. I think it's Willis. It's the guy well, yeah, who I, I, emulates Mariota. Well, yeah, I think it's Willis too. But like Ty, who do you th who do you think he'd take if he doesn't take um? If he's talking Willis. about throwing and people get I think, there. Then he'd go so, strong. So to me, so my idea is to like this. If you're going to be up here, you're going to have to take one or two. It's too late to think about it. So he's got to take Willis. But I would say Emory Jones is also a guy that people should look at, but he's too high up to, to say otherwise. 
It's true. There's a very strong chance that Emory Jones gets picked up high here. He's one of the, was it five? Five or six? Six quarterbacks with the first round yeah. grade. Well, those Florida quarterbacks so. always turn out well. Tim Tebow forever. Listen, Malik Willis has A trucking, and I'm sorry, but that's that's too good. You're right. I, good bro, the scouting <laughs> is, is my absolute favorite. I, I love seeing an outside linebacker and seeing his stamina, injury, awareness, and play rec, so I have no idea if he's a pass <laughs> well, or a coverage guy. That's my fucking favorite, bro. I would say you also have to understand that it's a, it's not an A rating overall. It's A compared it's to a everybody relative. else. Yeah, for the for the class. It's relative. Yeah. So you see. Well, still, I mean, I feel be... like an A for a quarterback for trucking is at least getting up towards eighty, like yeah, high seventies. Maybe it won't be that high. I mean, maybe in the, the maybe it, Isn't it comparing it to like the running backs, or is it just based on the position? No, it's just quarterbacks. Yeah, just the other quarterbacks in the position. Okay, then. Okay, well, then it could be anything. So. Let's go Malik Willis, then Carson Strong for the Saints right after. Let's yeah, just send like it. Because I think we know so. those are the, kind of the top two quarterbacks that everyone's So you're saying Sam Howell's at. not high? It's not high enough? I, I It could be. You are we saying I Max Corral's not look. in the discussion because Saints loves to get out of the pocket? Yeah, Matt Corral is very much an option. It's really, really hard when you're picking QBs. I don't know. Yeah, who are we, no I think QB, I'm more though, comfortable with the first one being Malik. Okay, so have we decided... Yeah, it's not going to be Emory Jones, let me tell you, because that is... He's got C-throw accuracy short and C-throw under pressure. There's no way. Yeah, Emory is very much um, another kind of Malik Willis. He's going to take some time. Like, you're picking him to understand you're probably going to end up sitting him most of the year. Yeah, well, I mean, some Ritter of these teams are right desperate, now. though. Cause like we, with maybe how many maybe Saints do take seen? Sam Howell. Howell does do like he runs that play action scheme at Carolina. Like that is exactly what he does. That maybe is it true. is really close than Sam Howell because that, that is a perfect scheme fit. I will not lie. I cannot wait till ten o'clock when you send the week and we get the pro. Uh, we get the combines because that's gonna say a lot. That's oh, true. Yeah, too. that's yeah. gonna make the the final one so much more clear. Cause like a few of these. We're sure on, like, we know the Raiders are taking a QB, like, mm -hmm. but all those things, like, we don't know uh, what the Ravens could do, because they could take Hamilton, they could take Leal, so, like, let's say Leal has a great combine, and Hamilton has a bad one that could certain it, or if the reverse happens, same thing, but it's like, it'll help decide between these matchups. We got another trade while y'all are talking. Oh my yeah, god, what happened now? I don't, I, don't, I don't like it. I don't like it. Bills are sending their second rounder for Hunter Renfro a third. So they're trading down to a third and they get a six Hunter Renfro comp. I don't like it for the Raiders. Cause mm -hmm. like, yeah, why are you trading Hunter Renfro? Yeah, cause what did it, he it, ever do to you? Well, cause it's He's like, been pretty good. He was the one of the, the few guys that was actually fighting in the game I faced first in the last one. Yeah, because they're, they're almost certainly going to draft a QB. So why would you trade away one of his best weapons for a second-round pick when after, like, the top receivers are gone? There's no dead-set guy. Like, Well, like I London. think it's because he wants a second-round pick. They might be drafting a weapon. Could be drafting one. Yeah, because the Raiders sent their second to the Vikings. I think that's why he's trying to get a second. But if he does that, he has no... Third, fourth, he only has a fifth and a sixth after that. Yeah. I mean, is he, says he wants to run a running right? scheme? Like, is so is Hunter Renfro really worth that little? No. Like, he's a solid. Yeah. Uh, he's, he's a, a solid. Good, he's, a slot. Slot. he's one of the best. Yeah, he's a top, he's a, he's one of the top slots. Yeah, so I think that he's, that yeah, and he's still on his rookie contract, isn't he? Yeah, at least one yeah, more year. Uh, I, I we'll talk about it later. We yeah. we'll talk about it later after the mock. Yeah, I so, think drop so right now we're on the Chiefs at eight. Good. Chiefs are at eight. I think this is so they're getting rumped for me. Wait, so who is the quarterback be... we agreed on for the Saints? I said Sam Howell. Yeah, that makes Sam the most Howell. sense with okay. the scheme. I think this is just Aiden Hutchinson, right? Like he got rumped for me to be that kind of speed edge. 
but get a little bit of power in there, someone who can fill in for Frank Clark when you eventually move off him. I would say that's I mean, a lot of money with Frank Clark and all and all those guys in the in the line in the trenches. He Yeah. I mean, Aiden Hutchinson, uh, I mean, he needs linebacker as well. Christian Harris is chilling there, and there's really no one else close to him. I, 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 I hate or to say Christian Harris. Or you can take a middle linebacker. Harris. Christian Harris is a good one, yeah. He, there's no one close to him, actually. Oh, yeah, yeah. After him, there's a second-round linebacker, Ventrell Bryant, and then it falls off a cliff because, like, there's a lot of miss on if any of the outside linebackers can cover or not. And yeah, I'm gonna go after Christian think, Harris. I'm gonna save him the yeah. the trouble that I've, could, I've been could considering have been. that myself as the Patriots wow. GM, but I don't think he would fall that far. So Thibodeau was falling. No. That's interesting. No Thibodeau. No, no Thibodeau's the Broncos. Hutchinson. Oh, okay. Hutchinson's falling. Um, Bills do not need edge. That is the last thing they need. Yeah, they. Hey, they... get someone to run with uh with White. Yeah, but didn't the they sense. just lock up Teron Johnson? Is that only in life? Uh, they do have Teron Johnson. Or no, it's not Teron Johnson. It's the... Um, Levi Wallace. Is it Teron? Well, t- no, it is Teron. Teron. Yeah, Teron's, Teron's the slot guy. Slot. And then you have uh, so White on the outside. And then you can get Kyrie here, who played the other outside. Yeah, but I mean, I think Levi Wallace is on a multi-year contract. Obviously, you're not, tra- you're not trading the Trey White. And then they just locked up Teron Johnson. So unless Levi Wallace is on a short contract, it's like I don't think Levi Wallace is actually under contract. I think this, I think that was his last year. If it is, then I'm down. That seems like a yeah. Great I think that is his last placement. year. Thinking about it, I think Kyer especially makes the most sense since he can actually take some of the bigger body guys. Right, you want to put White on a six-one receiver at five foot eleven or. If you can put 6-2 Kair on them, you're going to preferably do that. You think Kair's better than Booth? Better? Probably. Is he probably is, again, Booth is probably the better uh, athlete, but me, Kair's probably more technical. To me, I'm just, as I said, like with Kair and Booth, it goes to, goes to um, scouting. It goes to... Uh, combine. Yeah, combine. Yeah. I, mean, I, uh, I think whichever... Booth will have a better combine, but I think Elam's more technical. It, it like yeah, it depends on the coverage. Cause if he wants to run, um, I forget. That's I haven't cool. seen too much of them. But is either one of them more man heavy or zone heavy than the other? Like a lot. I don't know. I mean, this is Madden. You're better off picking whoever has good zone. Yeah, and I think Kyir would probably actually have the better coverage. Man, like I said, he's, he is more of a technical corner. If you run it right, man, I think is better than zone. No, man. Well, is, it, it doesn't matter much because yeah, I think Cardinals. Uh, this is actually very interesting because Cardinals could go edge. They're guaranteed to lose at least one of the edge pieces they have I in thought, Von Miller and Jones. I thought the Jones. I think he resigned Jones, right? Or it wouldn't be a resign. It'd be a franchise, would it? Did he resign? I didn't see a resign for Jones. I thought Jones was already locked out because the last guy didn't uh, have a long term okay. deal. The Bills. So he's going to franchise take one of them, and the other one's going to have to hit. The Bills are trying to distract another us from the trade. Draft. Holy shit. Mm, just kind of looking. I Could mean, go receiver. We finally got somebody to get Could go Drake Jackson. I'd be fine with it, but with the first trade, I'd also not be fine with it. Cause like, you, like I I get wanting to get another option instead of Beasley and Sanders. Are we is Sanders still on the Bills? I forget because I know he's no, on the Sanders Saints. retired. I think. Okay, okay. Like, we'll I deal with the, the trade option. later. We'll deal with it later because. We have to go through a bunch of voting first. Yeah, that's true. Cardinals, I mean, they they can go either Drake Jance, uh, Drake Jackson, Booth. They could go Kenyon, I getting think, a I think they got an go, interior piece or outside piece. I think they got to go Hutchinson. Like he's been falling. They Hutchinson or Harrison. Really get both. I mean, Hutchinson would probably fit them a little better. He's probably a more uh, attributed to playing 3-4 that they currently play than Zach Harrison Whose pick is it? Cardinals. Cardinals. 
And Leo lives yeah. off the board, right? Yeah, Leo's gone. They would uh, like Leo here. Yeah, that would work tough. out well for them if Leo's here. We'll we'll do Aiden. We'll do Aiden Hutchinson. He has fallen. Yeah. I'm like, he's the best player available, so mm -hmm. at very least, even if he's not who you wanted, it's like the Cowboys taking uh, Micah Parsons. He's the best guy there. you got to take him, and he is a fit like they do need another mm -hmm. edge guy when one of those guys leaves. Now, Vikings are up. They've got a couple different directions they can go. They can go uh, Kenyon and kick him inside. They could go QB and go like Corral or Strong. They could also go Corner. They could go Booth. They could go Edge. They could go Zach Harrison. They they basically have the pick of the trade here at some point. Like this is a smart trade by the Vikings from where they're sitting because they can just basically see how the draft board goes out and they can just sit and decide. There's really nothing they can't miss on here. Hmm. Who did they make it so right goes, now, other than Pat um, Pete? Pat Pete's not even there anymore. Right? He, got, he got traded. Yeah, I think they go. They have to go quarterback, honestly, if they let go uh, Cousins. Oh, wait. Oh, yeah. Kirk. I forgot about that. They let go Cousins. So oh, it's Eddie. Has to be quarterback to me. Like, yeah, unless they go, really uh, like Mond. <laughs> I think they like Mond, but I think they want someone to compete with him, which would also make the most so, sense, is getting someone to compete with him. Same with, uh, if that's, if there's when a place I was talking that's to Bucks, Emory Jones, like another one. Take, that's the place where Emory Jones will go, if that's, if he's going to go somewhere. I mean, the only Emory thing... Emory Jones does fit that style. Yeah, he does. Corral also fits that style. It's one of the two of them. Yeah, and, and that means, um, Carson Strong will continue to fall. He will continue to slip. Because like he was an option I, back at um back at six. Mm -hmm. I don't think he'll be an option very much lose. longer, right, Ty? Who? Strong. I don't think he'll be an option for very much longer, right? Who? Carson, Carson Strong. Strong. I I guess. Because like I'm just poking you a little. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, I'm, man, I mean, I, again, if you do pick Emory Jones, this is a good thing for him, because he can start Mond, and just be like, all right, Emory's going to sit, he's going to develop and learn until he's ready to take over, and you'll have the better athleticism, probably. He's more fluid when he's is, running, at least. It is Mond better than Emory Jones, though, because, like, I don't know if Mond is better than Emory Jones right now. And he might not be. I mean, it really depends on this draft, right? I mean, we, we know a lot of Jones's stats, at least throwing wise, is pretty mediocre. It's pretty average. Why is this that's the um, Ritter not conversation? I don't think Ritter fits what he wants to do. That's why he wants he to get moving. He loves a short game. And that's like one of the yeah, best I think short he is gonna go. Yeah, Ritter actually what? isn't so bad. I mean, I mean, B throw accuracy deep, A throw accuracy short. I mean, but he likes to get out of the be, pocket he, with Mond. Ritter doesn't really do that like, as efficiently Ritter, like, as the other two. Ritter has the lookings of like a 75 overall speed and like an 81 acceleration. He's like Kirk again. He'd be drafting Kirk. Basically, essentially, someone who fits that role. And I don't think he wants to go back that way. I think he'd rather go Jones or Corral. Uh, let's go. Let's go for the athletic upside. Let's go Emery. He's been ranked this high the whole year. As much as we made fun of him, it is. Interesting, the fact that yeah. he has stayed this I mean, well, over you other see, guys. Jazzer, he just went down 49 spots, so, you know. Yeah, fucking this doesn't make any sense. <laughs> just, like, how's, like this, these numbers don't make any sense, EA. He can't go down from 40 going only down three spots. That's not math. It's sign of math. <laughs> oh, dear lord. All right, Cowboys are up. This has to be defense. It has to be. I know Kenyon is here. That'd be tempting. But he's... uh. He's going to go sign Connor Williams, it looks like. So I think this has to be D. Yeah. I mean, he lost the edge rusher. He lost, well, he lost the middle linebackers. Um, a lot of people he lost. Mm -hmm. As a Cowboys yeah, did he re sign fan, I think uh, Van Der Esch? Nope. LVE is gone. Oh, wait. What did you say? Yeah, uh, the Cowboys. Uh, he lost Gallup. Gallup was gone. So. 
I think he's finally losing Gallup, though. CD has already taken over that role. I think that's a, yeah, and then he is an improvement. Um, unless he doesn't sign him, I think he still has Cel uh, Cedric Wilson. All right, hear me out. As a Cowboys fan, I think this is the move. Mm -hmm. You draft Jordan Davis, and Michael Parsons gets to run free. But they don't run free. Actually, hear me out on this. Hear me out on this. You take Zach Harrison, and you give someone to run with your already dominant edge in Lawrence. I mean, and then didn't Parsons Randy Gregory really just come go off for a 16th sack season? Yeah, but Randy Gregory's is not getting contract. signed back. Well, you didn't have the money to sign that man. So yeah, so you take Zach Harrison. Yeah, Zach Harrison does sound make sense in that sense. You keep the pass rush going. Yep, you just literally. He's you're like, good. All right. It's one of the top guys with a first round grade still around. I mean, it's either you pick him or you pick uh, like Carl Aftis is here, Drake Jackson's here. Yeah, but he can't what stop the run at all. So Jordan Davis would solve that in many ways. Yeah, that's true. God, and like, I mean, um, it is a reach. What is it? It's 12? I mean, maybe not. That's about where Vita Vea went. 6-6, yeah. six, six, three, thirty. Like the, I mean, the idea with that I is mean, probably like, going to be... Is, is Christian Luke... Look... And Micah Parsons yeah. isn't a edge rusher in this uh, roster. No, he doesn't have the pass rush stats that he probably actually has in real life. Um... I mean, he has yeah. the pick of the lottery at this point. Any edge. I was gonna say you can't. Inside. You can't go linebacker really yet because linebackers, yeah. like all the linebackers, are gonna be like. With second Harris round. gone, there's no yeah, point. Yeah, there's there's no... literally no point. He also has to consider like, booth. Guys... Yeah, that's true. With he Jordan Battle. Gigs. Here's the thing, though. It's, here's the idea: when you always have a corner, you can make up for poor corner play if you get pressure fast enough. Wait, would yeah. you go corner if you have that ninety-four guy that you got picked? You just picked up this year. That who, Calvin Joseph? Is that you're talking about? Yeah. Oh, boss man, fat. I'd be fine with that if I was the Cowboys. I'd start if him. he's progressed them. All right, I'll look at it. Uh, he. Yeah, I'd be happy starting the. He guy just needs to go yeah, defensive yeah, BPA. Calvin Joseph is 73 overall. It looks like he's been developing nicely over the year. So like, yeah. so I would literally just go like Zach Harrison. I'd just take him and be happy that he was there. And yeah, and then they have, and then they still have uh, Osa Digazua in the middle. You don't middle. think Carl Loftus is better? I think Carl, like, if you didn't have Lawrence, if he moved on from Lawrence, then I think it's Carl Loftus because he can fill that run stuffing, like, really bully kind of edge that Lawrence does. But I think uh, you need someone who does that Randy Gregory role, and Zach Harrison's much more attributed to doing that than Carl Aftis is. I, I think Drake Jackson would be a better Randy Gregory type. Yeah, if he, if he wants to directly emulate Randy Gregory, then Drake Jackson is a better pick for that. I just think Zach Harrison's probably better than Drake. Huh. Yeah. I think Drake it's kind Jackson of a toss-up. I mean, all these guys are, all these guys are first-round graded. And they've been here the whole year. They have not moved down or up. They've stayed here. Yeah. So. I'd say just throw in whoever you think's the BPA. I, mean, I, I think Zach Harrison would yeah, be his best BPA Yeah, because Harrison also here. went to the, uh, Ohio State, who has a good track record with the yeah. pass rushers. Because, like, they've had Gary Bosa, Jones always likes the flashy pick. Chase Young. So, we'll go Zach. You're up, Ty. Eagles uh, pick. So... I had an idea. Actually, I had a generalization, but I think Cowboys actually started making me think about um, the Harrison and um, Carl Aftis, like comparison. And I'm like, it's a possibility. Mm -hmm. Like again, uh, I'm. I'll say it out front. I'm going defense more likely. Um, so yeah, Edward Davis, play that nose tackle. Could be. There's so many holes I need. Like, you know, obviously I need to make to make money to make it. So I have two picks too. Also, I... So yeah, I you have two first. I honestly I mean, I really want the way I really want Kair, but if Kair doesn't fall, mm -hmm. then I'm not gonna worry about it. Yep. But because that's Booth like, hasn't Kair to me is a top Kair is a top yep, Booth five and seven pick to me. So I'm I'm I obviously don't yep. think I'm gonna get him. So, mm -hmm. I mean, edge rusher, the the makeup for Brandon Graham, maybe. I was going to say uh, maybe Nick corner, Benito maybe safety. 
and Nick Benito is is kind of like that Micah Parsons kind of kind of hybrid guy. I think Can Carl left coverage. Carl left as well. Fit. She going to a three four beautifully. Ah, he's really heavy. Like, I mean, you'd have to understand he's rushing every down. But he can play like, he at really the I mean, That's yeah, Zadarius right. Smith, dude. Zadarius Smith is that big. Yeah, I mean, if, if yeah. as as you're comfortable with that tie, then that would be a good pick. Yeah, hey, block anything, sure. else, anything else is not going to happen until later on. Like, any of the, 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 the late first, early seconds, they're not going to happen. You, like, could, hey, else... you could also go Linderbaum moving away from Kelsey. That has to be in consideration. He already resigned Kelsey. Wait, no, are we just saying our picks? Like, I feel no. like that's not. No. <laughs> no, this is all theoretical. Exactly. It's all theoretical. I mean, unless you. you yeah, this, think is I'm just a, this is just analysis. <laughs> unless you, you got to look behind the smoke hey. screen. You can't be just <laughs> that naive. Okay, so he is definitely not taking edge rusher confirmed. All right. <laughs> Nothing's <laughs> ever confirmed in five <laughs> There might be yeah, like three uh, truths, three lies. You, you he's about know. to take a quarterback, bro. He's been pumping up Jalen Hurts. He's going to take a quarterback. Why do you think I poked at him when I said uh, Strong was going down? <laughs> if I did Strong, I feel like someone's going to be angry at me in the league. So I don't know. I might, I might just for the for the low. Yeah, Shea might be pretty pissed off. He'd be like, <laughs> "Fucking bastard!" <laughs> he did trade back up. He traded with me. Mm -mm -mm. Okay, we're going to go for now. Carl off this, okay? Yep. Steelers are up. I think Kenyon Green has fallen this far, and he can literally go any position on that line besides center. I think you just take. Yeah, him. they need they need a guy because they just have Dotson right now, right? He needs Linderbaum. Uh, Dotson. Uh no, because he's got the young guy, uh, the third round pick from Kenyon last year. Kenyon Green. Gross. Hey, right, uh, was the, the guy out of Illinois. I'm forgetting his name, but that's who he has playing center, and I think he he's fine with him enough. I guess Kenyon Green has great position flexibility. He can play anywhere. Well, like, yeah, Kendrick. he could play right guard yeah. or either tackle. Like, there's really no losing. Yeah, like, I right now, the, his the tackles are 69 overall, so Kung, and 66 Zach Banner. And, like, his guards yeah, are Dotson and Trey Turner, who are Trey. 74 yeah. and 75. So, like, his tackle situation is worse. If you get Green, you better secure that left side of the line. Mm-hmm. Like and make it easier for um for Haskins. Wait, did, he had he he was using Haskins, right? He was using Haskins. Haskins is absolutely oh, so good for him. He, he could, does not want him. He, morale, he's minus seven. So that's, that's something. But like the fact that he's using Haskins, he could go for a QB. I mean, it is it, like QB is obviously an option here. I mean, what what is he's picking corral, corral, right? corral? Does he forfeit? Does he go full Steelers and forfeit O line to go quarterback? I mean, you kind of have to at this point, right? Three quarterbacks are off the board, I guess. Yeah, I mean, yeah, because Ritter and Corral and um, Strong are I think you'd rather the guy the with the big arm. You, you think like, he'd rather have the guy with the big arm? He likes going deep. So that is true. Out. That man is a chucker. He likes going deep, especially with all those receivers he has. Okay, and we'll like, go Matt Corral, also, even though I like Kenyon Green more. Yeah, and then also, like, like there's uh, Rasheed Walker, Zion Nelson, uh, Oh, there's Cross. tons of tackles in this draft. Yeah, there's yeah, tons. like Abraham Lucas. Ekem Ekwanu. All right, He's going to be a freak in the Go ahead and say it. Go ahead and say it, Echo. You're okay, up. so, like, my process. I'm already I was... on who I think it is. I, I was I was considering going linebacker because obviously Christian Harris is there, mm -hmm. uh, Dante Hightower might leave, perfect fit, but as you guys yep. know, he got selected by the Chiefs, so it's like and I don't think Ventrell Miller is good enough to take now. I might trade up, like there there's mm -hmm. there's your there's your rumor. I might trade up for him if I think he's falling. Yep. But um. So after that, like obviously Patriots, so I sunk him corner a little bit, but Jones has played well. <laughs> That's literally where I'm sitting on. I'm sitting on Booth right now. <laughs> I I think Booth is probably your move here. Because it's like you I imagine a pair of if uh, James Jameson Williams was properly rated, he would be so coveted. Oh yeah, but I mean, I mean, oh, here's the thing: you don't have any receivers, do you? Yeah, I, I just, that. I just, that's what I was getting to. So, like, obviously, my offense, my O line is good, my tight ends are good, 
I got Mac, I got mm-hmm. Damian and Ramondre, so my running so everything is good other than receiver. And I just released Aguilar and mm-hmm. I need a deep threat. Born. So Traylon Burks? Yeah, that's the big I was I was from John Mechie. John Mechie? Yeah, Mechie's probably actually a better like, deep threat. I like mean, Burks is fast, but all, he's closer to AJ Brown. Like all 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 six of these guys, everyone from Mechie to Pickens, I'd be fine taking here. All right. like, so the Patriots might... go yet another Canadian receiver. I like it. Oh, wait. Is Mechie Canadian? Oh. Yes, he is. Burks has cool. great to elite speed. Mechie has good to great. Yeah, I imagine it'd be closer to great. John's a very good player. He's one of the few players when I was ranking him or uh, doing his tape over the summer. I literally just put a first on him and moved on. I said, there's literally, like, there's nothing else for me to evaluate. Like, he is, he's ready. So, so, no one one probably last year. so no one's buying into the Olavi hype? Olavi, I have, uh, I, just would, I would love him. <laughs> I yeah. do like Olave. I just don't know how much he can actually get deep. Yeah. You know, route running's more his game. Yeah, yeah and I mean, I just, like, like, like I said, I just saved 17 million cap by releasing Aguilar. I think I'll save another 7 by releasing Bourne. So it's like, mm-hmm. I just, and Myers obviously went into free agency, like, my top three receivers are going. They're all gone. Yeah, I mean, I'm gonna, I might stick with Bourne if I can't find another guy, and I might, or not my, I'm definitely going to sign another receiver uh, in yep. the off season. but I do have a hole at receiver, so. Yeah, I mean, yeah, you're going to get, like, what, Michael Gallup? Like, that's the, that's, the, like, the only offer I for mean, you, that or Antonio I, Brown. I mean, I got uh, Amari Cooper as the Lions in M21, so like that continue the trend of me getting Cowboys receivers. Yeah, it would fit. You get Gallup, who's the definitive number one in that scheme, and you bring in Mechie to take the two. It'll yeah. allow you to stretch the field a lot more. Be a lot yeah. more lethal. But, but, mm-hmm. but yeah, for this for this mock draft, I I'll take Mechie. All right, and then we're going to Texans. Texans now, I think, are going to go quarterback, especially with how many quarterbacks Carson have Strong off the board. is still there. It's Strong or Ritter. I think we just got it's to gotta Carson be strong. strong. Yeah, I yeah, they were considering going Strong at one. Like the draft has played out for them. Yeah, perfectly. This has been a this is the perfect Texan scenario. Yeah, you the get the only, best corner the in the draft, way, and you get a good quarterback to follow it. The only way the draft plays out better for them is if uh, they get Will Anderson and he declares. Because if he just finds mm. a way to declare, but yep. I feel like Leonard Ball might be falling a little bit here. Well, we do have a Packers guy coming up who loves Josh Myers. Do you want to take Leonard Ball, Grim? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, <laughs> I, I would love say. Josh Myers. Um, <laughs> well, I think the, the I feel like it, it's with the with with Chris Olave falling. I think that's got to mm. be the pick. Because even uh, so, Brees Hall. All right, I'm penciling it in. No, oh, yeah. because I, uh, I, I expect Grimm to take for wide receiver losing um, MVS. Uh, yeah, Crystal I mean, I could I could go for a speedster here. here. Yes. Like, I feel like I feel like Chris Olave is like just too good. Like because like I have Devonte mm-hmm. Adams on the franchise tag, right? If yeah, he leaves, last year, you'll keep him. Yeah, if I if he mm-hmm. leaves next season, I want someone who's gonna be a good who can do exactly yeah. that. And Olave is exactly that yeah. kind of route runner. I mean, if I have two Devonte Adams on the field, I feel like that's pretty good, e- even if it's Can't just seat for one season. Even if you have to, you can get Olave working in the slot on some sets. And you could probably be, do that. Even. And you'd be better than the Packers in real life when they don't want to get a receiver from anybody. How many years has this been? It's been like since what, 2006? Since they got the three receivers. receiver in the first. I mean, I don't know about yeah, because they when they got the three receivers, that was in like the third round, right? When they got MVS. Well, yeah, but uh, I mean, th- you say that as if as if them as if the receivers they've taken in the second round have been trash or something. Like you don't need to take a first round receiver when you get Greg Jennings, James Jones, uh, Jordy Nelson, Devontae Adams, Randall Cobb. Mm-hmm. I'm oh, Chris Olave, then you absolutely one. pick that guy in the first. <laughs> you do not talk about the Packers to Graham. Know that. <laughs> I'm just saying. I, I, like, learned, it, I learned it early thing. on. I learned it early on. <laughs> All right, we're on Saints. Saints are up again. They now have the quarterback of the future. Uh, they need to start filling out these positions because they are tight on cap. They have almost nothing. They don't. 
don't need any O line. Because well, they need fucking... tackle now. Because they don't have Armstead anymore. Oh, that that's true. Because I was gonna say because their their perceived weakness, Andreas Pete, had the most snaps without a sack. So. Mhm. Mm I would probably go Kenyon Green here. Just take take most valuable player at a position you can't really afford to buy in free agency, and that tackle they can't afford it. Just take it and run with it. Yeah, move That's on. my he can't opinion. Even afford anybody. He's gonna have like ten mil. Like he's gonna be signing. Like Rex Burkhead is gonna get another job again. Hey, the goat. <laughs> so, I'm gonna in, do Ken in, Green. In it just makes Rex no Burkhead. sense. Not as much as we love James White, but we we love Rex Burkhead up here. Browns are back up. Um. I mean, Jordan Davis is still here. They just take that, don't they? They need help in the middle. Who's up? Who's up? Jordan Davis, uh, Browns. Uh. I need the receiver. There's no to linebacker here. I mean, bad. Yeah, maybe he forfeits the, the trenches. Could be, could be. I mean, he needs one bad. Go get Justin Ross. In terms of Traylon Burks. He, he loves speed. I think he would go Burks. Traylon Burks? Let's do it. Yeah, because uh, if OBJ is gone, uh, that receiver core does need some help. Yeah, some. Lions are up. This is unfortunate for him. I think he probably wanted to Let take QB. His roster. Ritter's the last one here. Yeah, he definitely doesn't take him. <clears throat> no. I need to go look uh, at his team. I don't think you take running back. You don't really need O-line unless you're picking a guard. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Why are you this high? Holy shit, what? When did that happen? Who? What? When did, when did Cade Mays go from a second or a, a third to fourth round pick to one to two? When did that happen? <coughs> he just jumped off like three rounds. Wait, who? Fuck knows Cade when. Mays. He was literally, I, le I looked at him yesterday, he was rounds 3 to 4 with Donovan West, and now he's rounds 1 to 2. He's up in the first like first round now. Hey man, that's, that's what the beauty of these things. Well maybe that's what the Lions go with here. If he's really that much of a riser, you just take the guard and go thank you. I mean, right? he just fell right to you. I, I, got, I got a guard with the Lions, like, I got Matthew Spellman, I think was his name. And, he, and that line was just good mm -hmm. back in 21. He doesn't need edge, because honestly, like, he did just fine with the Aquara brothers. You really think he I'll goes receiver? receiver? Yeah. I don't think he does. I think he, he likes Perriman. He franchised he Mike, Mike Williams, and mm -hmm. but he the perfect build. He loves Rashad still Perriman. here. He would be salivating at the mouth for Ross. He loves big body receivers. Justin. I mean, if you don't want to have to extend Mike Williams, if he underperforms again, having Justin Ross fills that role really nicely. And he's As, like, young and you can develop him. Yeah, Mike Williams will be 27 after next year. So, not bad. Let's go with it. You know what? Let's go with it. Why not? He's He's got oh, some wait, draft did, capital did, now, now he's traded down. Uh, did Traylon Burks go to the Browns, or did they get the D-tackle? He went to the Browns, Traylon Burks. Oh, dang. So, um... So again, Justin Ross here is receivers. literally getting. Well, it's what's going to well, happen? Oh, so Jordan draft, Davis is still there. Oh, yeah. Like th this is the second year in a row where a D tackle has fallen mm -hmm. or is starting to fall at least. I I think it's going to happen this draft. With him adding like, a little like, to no pass rush, he's going to fall a little bit probably. Yep, yeah, he's a nose tackle. He has a very specified role for certain teams. Yeah. Although I do see a team coming up that might take him, but there's also another guy I'm thinking about. But I think Justin Ross does make sense, Cowboys. I agree with you. Let's talk about the Jets. Gino's now up at 21. Ooh, another person I talk to a lot. Yeah, Gino, I don't think he needs receiver. I think he likes I think he goes with Booth. Is Booth still here? Booth is still yes. here. I think that's ridiculous. There's no way Booth lasts any longer than yeah, this. Yeah, well, because everyone loves corners. I, I guarantee you they go higher. But Yeah, him and Sauce Gardner will be pushed up. Yeah, well, I really Lions are, out, are no. <laughs> Falcons are back up again. 
Jesus. hear me out here. Nick Benito. Get that sure. someone who's that athletic, that much of a hybrid for that style of three four defense. You don't have to run Fowler anymore. Nick Benito can do exactly that. Um has Kyle Hamilton gone yet? Yeah. Yeah, he went it to the five at the Jags. Oh, okay. Yeah, that makes sense. Alright. I was yeah, I thought I missed something. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he went to the Jags. It makes the most sense for Jags to get rid of Rashawn Jenkins. Or uh, get him to at least play special teams and have Hamilton take the starting reps. So what are we thinking? I'm thinking either Nick Benito, Jordan could also go here for that nose tackle role. They could also pick Perry on, but I think they like some of the uh, pass rush interior they have. I think it's got to be between Benito and Drake Jackson. Yeah, maybe he'll take Drake. Drake's the only guy. Like he, Drake has a solid round one. Yeah, he's Over so good. Over one to two. And we'll I, do Drake Jackson. Probably offered him one the run game as well. Probably better in the run game, probably. Lions are back up. Lions are back up, holy cool. shit. <laughs> yep. Yeah, he played this well. He's got two picks within three of each other. So wait, is Nick Benito a pass rusher? Yeah. I will tell you that he's a hybrid piece. Yeah, he's good. At least that's what he is in real life. Again, I can't speak about what it looks like in the game, because I don't know. But in real life, he gets after the quarterback pretty well. Think of like Micah Parsons in a way. That kind of athlete. I think Lions has to be considering either a Ventrell Miller or a safety. I mean, Miller does look nice here. He's He has steadily gone up. He's showing some athleticism in this game. He's the last guy who's kind of high for linebacker. Yeah, you probably just do it, right? Because uh, he's got... Um, what the... His dudes are uh, Jared Davis. He's got Jared Davis taking starting snaps again. I think he wants Jared Davis out. Get Ventral Miller in there, who probably could also play the run pretty well. Plus, he looks absolutely filthy. Oh, he does. He looks like an athletic animal in this draft. Not quite how I describe Ventral Miller in real life, uh, but Miller in real life is very technical. I like him. Well, in real life, the Utah boy's probably going here. Probably. But uh, he's not nearly as rated highly. Dolphins are up now. This is would be the Niners pick, but the Dolphins own it. Well, he doesn't need a receiver. He doesn't need. No, he got the line right. Leonard Baum just. Oh no! Yeah, no. He needs line. Man. That old line is. That's part of the reason I got after him. Was uh, any time he sat in the pocket, I just crushed the pocket on him. His interior is yeah, really bad. Yeah, probably just take Leonard Baum. Yeah, I'd just. Yeah, take the good center. I just pencil that in. Yeah, especially he's got. Was it um, Brian Winters playing center? Like you don't want to do that again. It'd be a massive upgrade. Yep, Tyler Linderbaum, good selection. Giants are up. Would it be the Panthers? Uh, would that be the Panthers? Yeah, in uh, the the Discord it says Panthers for 25. Oh, right, because of the switch of... I do, there's so many switching of picks. Yeah, the Panthers would now own this, because the Giants would be down at the... No, they don't even have a second anymore. They'd be down in the third round now. After that, okay, so this is Panthers then. This is where Panthers pick. This has to be a guard or pa- a tackle, probably. I, I think they just go center again, Jesus now that Tyler Linderbaum is gone. Just pick Lindstrom. Or Wadmeyer. Need to go good here. Mm-hmm. The, the reason I'm thinking center is just because I don't think he's kept Matt Paradis. Oh, Which means Matt yeah. Paradis is going to be gone, and he needs interior. Oof, I'd have kept him for another He also does need tackle. Tackle is something like he can go get grab Charles Cross here. Do Panthers have a quarterback? No. I think he wants to look no, at Walker. He wants to look at free agents and PJ Walker again because PJ played okay for him. You do have yeah. there. Are, are there any of those cousins. top quarterbacks left? No, only Ritter. Ritter. But only Ritter. He's looking more second round right think now. He... Mm-hmm. He, I think he's super invested in PJ Walker because, like, when we said no more uh, offensive custom playbooks, he was like, "Damn, I built the whole playbook for him." So yeah, I think... but I, I talked to him 
because he did ask me about, I think, Aaron Rodgers. Ooh. Well, Rodgers is, like, you don't give up on Aaron Rodgers. Come on, like, if Rodgers is available. Well, yeah, another but trade then, trade then there's another trade Hold on. There's another trade in chat, boys. Yeah, let's not talk about oh, that. Oh, right is there now. another one? Oh, my God. Bro. Well, no, it kind of matters now. It kind of matters. Dude. Uh, Jaguars go down to seven, and they give up pick five. Saints are Saints are going to jump the Raiders yep, again. Yep, he's jumping the Raiders. It's an arms race. I okay. It is now an arms race for those two QBs. So, uh, it's an arms race for QBs. Yeah, so Panthers this is... asked me... Man. That is, about, that no, is I huge. talked to him about love. That's what it was. So he was willing mm -hmm. to do... For a little bit there, he was willing to give up his, his number four pick if I sent him another pick with Jordan Love. So I think he might go quarterback. Maybe the uh, P.J. Walker mm -hmm. thing is just a smoke screen. Could be. Could be. And Desmond Ritter that is sitting right is so here bad, with though. A short accuracy and throw ac B throw accuracy beat. Uh, I... It's hard because it's basically the Steelers situation again, where the O line is absolute trash and has been trash last year. And if you don't pick anything here, it could be trash again if you don't play this right. Here's the thing about uh, about free agents, right? If the Panthers go and spend the money it takes to get Armstead, I think you can absolutely go quarterback here and not worry about it. If they lose out on guys like Armstead and like Connor Williams at guard, like if they lose out on Connor those got guys, Connor got signed by the Cowboys. Tech by the Cowboys, yeah. Like, see, that's what I'm talking about. Like, if you lose out on those guys, well, this draft becomes didn't this much draft get more like sketchy. some second round picks though. With some trades. Uh, let me. Oh god, uh, let's scroll up through all. I mean, it's draft. like Dude, probably this <laughs> much draft will be so much easier and like. A, a day. Days. Yeah. After, well, no, not even that. After free agency won, that's when the majority of top guys go. So, like, QBs usually take a little longer, and there's a lot of them, like Kirk, Jimmy, Okay, hold Carr. on, hold on, hold on. He's getting Jawan James, which he's going to probably move to left tackle and keep Moten at right. So, I think he can go Ritter here if he wants him. Yeah, without oh, free agency, I think he's got to go. He's got to go quarterback here. If there's one sitting. Yeah, I mean, I probably didn't expect him to fall to 25 because, like, at four, no way in terms of talent is one of the quarterbacks there. Like, if you're the Raiders or Saints and you're in this arms race, you have to take one. Is Corey also here? No, I no, think it's only Ritter. It is Ritter or nothing, basically. I think he love Corral. So here's my question. Gone, yeah. So why not Slovis? I don't think Slovis will go that high. So He's already got Slo yeah, Slovis guy isn't a first-round prospect. Very true. But if you mm -hmm. maybe it's inside in information. I mean, inside information, he has the A throwing short, so he's a throw. He can throw. He might not be. He might not be there. But I he mean, has an if arm. he did, if he went for Slovis, though, I think it'd be in a later round. Cause like at, you take it in the second. Yeah, the second cause like in got. the second, like there's Slovis, Pickett, Purdy. Like there's some guys there who who could still be of interest I mean, for a developmental yeah, team. I, like honestly, well, I could see him taking a shot on Daniels, Slovis, or like Pickett or one of those guys, and just saying PJ Walker. And this guy, you guys compete. If I don't like either mm -hmm. of you, all I have then all I this draft again. capital from the, the Ravens. From all the trade downs. Well, I, I still yep. think like if you look at his team, right? Like he has, he needs help at offensive line. But outside of that, I think where he does he need help? Here and then QB. Right. Feel like Is Kenyon Green still here? No, he's gone. Oh, who did he go to? I know the Steelers were uh, considering it, but they got Corral. I mean, Green so, the here's the thing, too. I think oh, yeah. Maybe you might need another linebacker, but even then, that's probably you could get in, like, round two or round three. Yeah. I that's mean, Ventral Bryan is on the board. He. This mm -hmm. is about where he'd go. What about Nicholas Petit-Freary? That dude's, like, the biggest riser in the draft. 
Who? Left pad. Left pad. I don't have study. He's gone up hard. Is he, is he a new advisor? Or... <laughs> Nicholas Petit Freewee. He was a hell of a name Frere. to say, I'll tell you that. It's French. Petit Freewee. I think he's a real riser because on my scouting report he has B run block, A impact block. It's real. Mm -hmm. If that's if that's a real riser for one that's cool because we've had so many smoke screens when a guy scouts a guy, mm -hmm. and then the game's like okay five hundred, it's pretty cool. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Like like that one that one receiver out of Maryland that um that shit was wild. The Panthers scouted. <laughs> that shit was crazy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Man, yo yo yo. <laughs> It's gonna be super fun to go from the first mock draft to the fifth mock draft and just see all the pick swaps. Oh my god! Mm -hmm. Cause like in in the first in the first mock draft, Cowboys are one, Eagles are two, uh, Vikings are three, Eagles are four and five, and we're at the third one, and all top five picks mm -hmm. are switched like multiple times for some of them. Hmm. The more I look at this, the more I don't think this is going to be a quarterback here. I think he's going to take the center, take the best lineman. I think he's taking Nicholas Petit Fury. <laughs> that, that's my luck. <laughs> you just want to keep saying his name, that's it. <laughs> you just want to say the name. So I guess that leads to me now at 26? Oh. So we're, we're going to go Petit Fury, or what are we doing? Yeah, just pass the ball. No, I, th I, think, I, think, I think Linderbaum. Wait, does he have Paradis? Linderbaum's gone. Or not Linder, or... Lindstrom. Lindstrom. That's a good pick, too. That's one of the nine. I think it's a need, especially since he's letting Paradis go. I think if you let Paradis go, you have to go... He's got B-pass block here. and A-pass block finesse. C-run block, but yeah. I mean... He pass wants block. to pass anyways with that Wait Christian better. McCaffrey. Right on all those screens. Okay, if Jordan with... Davis is still here, Ty has to go him. Right, I mean... Yeah, Ty, you really want to skip out on Jordan Davis again? I mean, that's I just mean... a lock. That's just BPA by a fucking mile. I mean... I mean, Brandon Graham did retire, so it's a different role, but that's another guy on the interior. Well, he already took an yeah. edge guy. Well, I was going to say, my 3-4 three, four, three, four mm -hmm. is already mostly set up. So yeah, if I was to take an edge earlier, I honestly I would probably be looking into Josh Shelby and Ahmad Gardner. Yeah, you want to go? Oh yeah, because you got rid of Slay. Slay's no longer Ain't here. Value. I mean, I, at <laughs> that Gardner? point, at that point, it's like either yeah, because either I'm gonna get a younger guy who's like Slay, or I'm gonna get a six-two guy who can press, who can be physical up on the on line of scrimmage. So. If I'm Josh at 26, is probably pretty play ready. If I'm at 26, I'm going to look at one of those two. Yeah, maybe Josh Job, actually. I think he might fit your scheme a little better. Seven Banks would be good, too. I yeah, mean, Seven Banks, I think, also probably fits the scheme better than Gardner. I mean, yeah, it's just at the point, yeah, at that point, I need cornerbacks. So I need a secondary. It's competing so, at FC East. Let's go with Josh Job. Let's just go Josh Job. He's, he's the top guy. He's also been rated pretty highly for a while now. I'll say that. Broncos are now up. Didn't did up? The, did the... Yeah. The, oh, yeah, the Broncos got this from the Jets. Broncos Correct. Pick one. Fuck. Which was from the Seahawks, I guess. He, he could go anything. Yes, it was the Seahawks. So he didn't go quarterback. I don't think he will go quarterback. Yeah, because he got he went Donald. Edge. Maybe... Hear me out. He goes and picks Wittermeyer. He literally just gets two different replacements for the guys he got rid of. Hear me out. He needs a tackle opposite of Bowles really bad. Yeah. I mean, bad. Broncos not even going for a quarterback. That's just so funny to me. I think the pick and, here is Nicholas. Yeah, Petit replacing Fury. Drew Lock with Sam Darnold has Charles to be in a top offseason story. It's so bad. I mean, hey man, he hey, could... hey, it's his, it's his opinion, man. Can't, yeah, can't, yeah can't well, that's it. fair. Well, well, I'm yeah. just saying, I think it's pretty poopy. Yeah, I'd agree. I mean, not as bad as the Mitchell Trubisky contract, though. That was Oof, that one, the one for the books. Hey, 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 guys. I had to edit it down, by the way, because uh, that it was four. He had had to be three years maximum. So I, I told him that, and I edited it hey. down. Hey, 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 we gotta get back to this prospecting round. Let's at the end of the first round. 
I think I think I think Charles Cross here. Nicholas, I think he picked the best tackle. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> the top riser in the draft. <laughs> I mean, if he has a good combine, he honestly could go here. Charles Cross is trending down. What about King Z? Broncos love Ikum Equin Equinu. Equinu. In well, why do the left tackles just have? You talking about a Nagbar? He's got. Look at his his like his his uh his like physicals. He's got yeah. great to elite for almost everything. He could go double edge here. There's not many first round guys left. He goes double edge, just completely revamps the whole edge room in one go. But yeah, he traded away. Nagbar can absolutely. Yeah, and there's no one else. Like literally, that's the last first round guy left. Just goes get Kingsley. Go corner and be set up for the future. And get rid of Fuller. I don't think he wants to. Like the guys he has, like Sertain is great. He's got uh, Darby, who already plays well on the outside. Kingsley and like, Darby. Think... Yeah, let's go Kingsley. Yeah. I picked Kingsley uh, over my man, but Pete Ferrari. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, was, I'm gonna trade just before you pick. And then pick him. Oh, <laughs> just out of spite. <laughs> out of spite, I'll do that. Saints are up again for the third time. Whew, Saints. Well, I don't think they'll be well, having much of the, 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 the Saints could, facility this could, year. Could they use another wide receiver after Higgins? Because I know, I like, know they need wide receiver. No, because, uh, they need tight what, end. What, who the they fuck they need was Ed. the guy? Harris Deontay is Harris off. is superstar now. Yeah, but Maybe I think he's, he's hitting contract. free agency. He hasn't extended him yet. He hasn't extended yeah, him. Same he... thing with Dow. Oh, he, he hasn't use extended a Z. him yet. He could use a Z receiver. So the That's two the receivers like, he needs left edge, he needs receiver. Are, are, are Garrett he... Wilson and George Pickens. Uh, well, well, Wilson did get receiver. Quez Watkins. He, he got Quez Watkins. That's a pretty good Z. Well, yeah, but yeah, like, he could run with Quez. Yeah, but I mean, he can't he's going to take good. I mean, running back is here. No, he's Gainwell. I think he likes Gainwell. I don't think he goes secondary. If he does, he's gonna go with like. Hold on, is Bonito still he, here? He's got good corners. No, he got a tackle earlier. So wait, is Walker still here? Benito? Is Walker already gone? Uh, pretty much none of the tackles are gone. There's like that. all almost all these tackles are still here. I'll take Walker in that situation. He, he, if he loses Armstead, he needs somebody to replace that area. He's already got Green. He picked up Green earlier. Mm. Does he go tight end? And, uh, Does with, he have any tight ends? Wittermeyer is someone he can go here. Yeah. Yeah, because he just has um, Troutman, right? And um, Troutman. Troutman. Yep. Yeah. Let's let's go Wittermeyer. It is. Yeah, I don't know if Wittermar will actually last this long. And I mean, that but, also uh, allows him to run some more two tight end sets, like take advantage of the good blocking mm -hmm. of his O-line. And then... <laughs> What's up? When did Jawan Johnson become a tight end? Since earlier this year. Oh, it was this year. Yeah, the I thought Saints you had to be... Oh, no, the Saints didn't have realize. Gone. Oh, in real life, he's tight end, yeah. Yeah. Wow. I like that move from them, then. Good. Yeah, they did that before the season started. They had him train as one. Guys, I have a question. Oh, Tim Tebow yep. at tight end, or Kelvin Benjamin? But not on the Giants. Kelvin He's Benjamin. In... I'll take Kelvin. Get this catch. Kelvin. I know, nah, but bro, bro, he don't bro. just die. He, he has to lose weight, though, y'all. Come on. Nah, not tight end. He can be a heavy boy. Nah, I'll give him some pop out no, biscuits. We're fine. Wait, do you guys get the reference? Because Joe Judge uh, kicked him off because he said he was too overweight, even though he was smaller than when he was a wide receiver. I think most people just think Joe Judge is a bitch. Um, There's not a lot of players that say good things about him. So who are they taking? Who's, who's Saints going for? I think Jalen Wittermeyer. Who's yeah, the wide receiver? Honestly, there's still Justin Ross. I'm, there's still there's still a couple people. Garrett still out Wilson there. would be great for him. Justin Ross isn't there anymore. Lions took him already. Uh, Garrett Ross, I mean, not Garrett Ross, Garrett Wilson would come. He'd be taking him. Wilson, yeah, Wilson yeah. George Pickens. It's Wilson or Wilson Wittermeyer. Wilson has fallen a lot. Wilson started off the draft season, like, tied with, um, 
Mechi and then slowly Mechi, he's fallen. Yeah, he, him and him and Olave have slowly switched place. Like it looks like he's risen back up a little bit, but he he has had some yep. falling stocks. So actually, it could be the Saints taking the opportunity of the talent they see in him, despite them falling. Yeah, Wittermeyer literally has not moved. He is consistently staying in that range. He has not moved at all. Yeah. Is that good, like for, all him? Year, is that good for him or is it bad for the rest of the people in that in that position? That where it might has moved or what? That where it might has moved. All right, no one else is actually even close. It's related to the draft board as well. Mm -hmm. Charlie Cole has fallen a lot, though. He, he was projected next to Wittermeyer at the beginning of the year. Mm -hmm. Who's pick away on now? Saints. Uh, we'll just go, go, we'll go yeah. Garrett Wilson. And then we'll go uh, Titans are up next. Titans are looking out of hole. This, this is Ritter. Hear me out. This is Ritter. Get rid Tannehill Manson. in two years. I'm, I was listening because I wanted to hear why. Yeah, I, I don't... Purely because Tannehill, like, if you watch that game that he had versus me, when I took away Derrick Henry, Tannehill was sailing every time pressure was in his face. He did go to Superstar. And you're paying that man 40-something million. Yeah. When I, was, when, I, when, when I was the temp user for the Bengals, Ryan Tannehill was not what won on that game. It was it was a battle between like is, Nixon and, and Henry. Yeah, and as the Titans are going to get more and more expensive, especially if you can't move Julio. Was Tannehill a superstar Ritter, when y'all played? No, he's a star. He's a superstar yeah. now. How much did he progress? Because I know he's older. He still was fast. He still has good arm strength. Let's see. He lost uh, one accuracy mid, one deep, and one throw on the run. But gain superstar okay, days. Maybe not. maybe not then. He didn't regress as much as I thought he would. Does he go tight end? It's still. I think he goes receiver. It's still weak. No, I don't think he will. He can't move Julio. And I think if he can't move Julio, there's I mean, no point. He has been shopping Julio. And I've been in trade talks for him until I saw the cap hit. I think you go safety. I think you go Jordan Battle to get a strong safety. Are you sure? To pair that wire. receiver room drops off considerably. Yeah, but I think he's well, got there's going to be plenty of low-level receivers in in free agency. Yeah, like if he wants Cole Beasley, I think he can go get Cole Beasley relatively. Yeah, he's and he's still, Marquez. He still has Josh Reynolds mm -hmm. to be there in case he literally can't get anyone. Who? Yeah, I think Jordan Battle. But... Or wait, hold on. I'm just taking a look. He could go Perry on here to to take over. Um, what's the what's the guy's name? The other, not Simmons, the other guy. Can't remember his name. But he could take Perry on here to do that role. He also needs a guard really bad. If there's any of them. Well, th there's Cade. I said Cade has risen significantly over the last few weeks. Like, he is now a, a 1-2 to two prospect. Going from 3-4 to four to 1-2 to two is not something to slouch at. Who does he have? He he's a three four, right? He is a three four, yes. Who does he have at nose tackle? Because I or did Ty take battle or? I mean battle. Davis. Davis. Uh, Davis. You're talking about yeah. Davis? No, Davis is still there. He could take Jordan Davis. That's in his power. Because yeah, because I know he just re-signed um Landry, and he has Dupree. Oh, yeah. but he has um. He has Jeffrey Simmons. Yeah, but he's not a nose tackle, is he? No, I mean, he's he he, probably... he's playing D tackle in in the scheme. I'm like, he has Evans at outside linebacker and Monty Rice. So it looks like he's moving. That's also because he plays four three. A four three. Plays four three because he has a uh, Landry oh, at edge. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. He plays four three. Which I mean, I don't know if you'd want uh, Davis uh, next to Simmons and all those guys. Hmm. Which way did he? Yeah, so he's got to yeah, he he's tell running you he a four three right three? now. I he might have, I don't remember. I did so many changes like whole team changes at the start of the year. I have no idea. But Nito's still yeah. here. I'll have to go look back. But no, is still yeah. here. Yep. No, wait, well, he Benito... could he could try running getting the second because he's got Simmons and then it drops off to thirty two year old Nico Autry. Autry. Autry's the guy I was thinking. Yeah, I'm looking so at all the other guys Jordan. behind him. 
It's not looking good. I'm going go Para on or Jordan, I think, would go. So, okay, yeah, yeah, I would yeah, probably go with a bad he spot. A he might do it, but I think that'd be such a bad spot for him, because, like, Pickens' injury is probably so bad. Like, he'd just get blown up once, and he'd be done. You basically have Julio Jones again. Yeah, so I'm Julio definitely... Julio Jones on a rookie contract, though. While he's injured, you don't got to pay him. That's... That's 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 an upgrade. That's why he's trading Julio. And I mean, to be honest, I don't think he's gonna find a trade partner for Julio because he's not I'll selling him for under a third. Which with his contract, like even with X Factor, mm -hmm. you're only getting it's like a loan basically because he's up for contract next year. He's 33, I think. Like he's already mm -hmm. 85 overall from, I think 90. At the beginning of the year, he could so. go Drake London. He yeah, could like go Drake real London. big body. He could go real big body. I like Drake London a lot. I'd be a bit of a reach, but again, this receiver class is starting to tilt her off. Yeah, well, and I'm obviously have to Drake be a that good. Too. Yeah. I still say Jordan Davis. We... His DTs are poopy. Maybe we go with the safe option and get Cade Mays. Well, no, no, no. Fixes Jeffrey Simmons. Yeah, besides Jeffrey Simmons, though, he's got a bunch it... of. Garbage. Mm. I mean, I don't hey, know how good of a go... pass rusher Jordan Davis is. I, I no, know about as much. Not very. That's not his thing. If it's like real life, he should have like 60. <laughs> he's, he's not a good pass. That's why I was saying maybe Perrion. If you're trying to replace Autry, Perrion's a closer I mean, he comparison. had Daquan Jones, but he was, he was their nose tackle. And they moved to a 4-3, so they don't, they don't need that before. Yeah, but uh, yeah, I guess I, I would still go DT then, but I would go for someone who's more of a pass rusher. Yeah, I'll go Perion. Perion is much more, much well, more attributed to that. Well, I mean, does he really need pass rush? He has Landry, Dupree, and Simmons. I sat really comfortably in that pocket versus him. Is Battle still on like, the board? Like really comfortably. And Brandon Joseph. Jordan Battle is there. I did reference Battle once <laughs> to pair with him. Good old Jordan Flyers. Battle. I mean, if you look at his mm. skills, it says D in man coverage and C in zone. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Yeah, you're picking Battle to be the athletic freak, is what you're picking Battle to be. Yeah, you can leave the coverage up to Bayard. Well, his speed isn't, it's just good to great. It's not like great to elite. Mm. I'll probably probably. Let's just, let's just move probably. on to the, to the Bucks. I want to pencil and parry on Winfrey. I think let's just get him some interior pass rush. Let's get on to the Bucks. Fuck the Titans. Do y'all think well, we could get um TFG on for the end of the mock draft or no? Because I know he's starting his um stream soon. Unless it's already started. No, I think it's already started. Oh, just started. Yeah, I won't bother him. He's in the middle of his thing. Yeah. Well, now that since we're talking D tackle, since the first T tackle is already off the board, I think Bucks go Jordan Davis. Do you do? They have no Vita 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 Vita. Vita. No, ain't no way. Uh, I, lo I love Vita Vea, and I think he'll keep him there. I think he can bring Jordan Davis out on those, some of those real big sets, though, that those Bucks I, like to I, run. I mean, to be fair, his other interior guys are 65 Austin Edwards with the morale boost and mm -hmm. 67 Khalil Davis. So he could try yeah. bringing Jordan Vita or Davis. Because like, Jordan could take Sue's role, essentially. Yeah, that's that's something I, I guess. That other big, but but like the thing is, right? He has good linebackers mm -hmm. that will be able to help. Mm -hmm. Like because when I played him, the, the I, could, yep. I couldn't run super well, at least from what I remember. I don't remember much from that game. There was a whole I mean, lot of fucking. The thing yeah. is, he he does have an incredible weakness at uh, IDL opposite of a bit of a like. So he he'll probably be able to address one of those in free agency because I think we have a strong. It could be seven banks as well, if he doesn't retain some of the corners. Seven banks is here. I think he'd be doing a real disservice if he doesn't take Watermeyer with all his old tight ends. Well, I know he wants to upgrade corner because he wanted to trade for Jalen Ramsey. Yeah, I don't think it's gonna be Wittermeyer. I think he likes Gronk. I think he's fine. Like he doesn't seem to want to run the two tight end. You know what? Something I mean, we guys, didn't consider. Away we we didn't consider running back at all. Great. I don't. We think really didn't consider running back. Oh, the thing the Bucks don't have set. 
Which could be Brees Hall here. Brees Hall might be BPA. Um, like okay, so just, I was, I was going to ask for a second who he had opposite of Antoine Winfield, but he is, he is Whitehead, who is fine. Yeah, and he extended him. He's getting so rid of he Brady Hurts as a free agent. He yeah, I think it might be Brees. I think it might be Brees. We might see our first running back go off the board. I doubt we go this long and a running back doesn't go off the board. I doubt it. I mean, in, remember in the how last year's draft? draft <laughs> yeah, when like... TFG took two fucking running backs. In the first we had five rounds... running backs go before pick oh, wait, 26. Oh, no, I said that. He is Elijah Mitchell. He is Elijah Mitchell, who's 76 and young, and he has Lenny, who's up to an 82 with... um. L Lenny's a free agent. Oh, yeah, playoff Lenny. Mm -hmm. I still don't think he goes running back. I feel like, out of everything, I feel like he would he would not go running back. I mean, that's why I said Jordan Davis probably was my initial reaction, just to fill out that room, because it's it's thin. He's already got a replacement for JPP. Yeah, I, on the I still yeah, I think tight end might be the move. I don't think it's one of my. I don't think it's. I mean, in, in terms in my mind. of what's the best for him, I'd agree, but he he really does not want to keep Bray. Like he has Ertz, he has mm -hmm. he has Gronk. He he like he clearly is it, not yeah, like two tight Ertz ends. Yeah, but Ertz is leaving. He's just has Ertz Gronk. Is gone. Who's Andre so riddled? And he's old. And I mean, he also he also has a lot of wide receivers. Like he obviously has Godwin and Evans, but after that, he has Miller, Johnson, and Darden. So he's mm -hmm. gonna want to be in three receiver sets a lot. Yeah, but this is Madden. You can you can. Get things done with fucking Alan Lazard, okay? <laughs> I think it's Watermeyer about a mile. Wait, bro, you can get things get things done with Jawan Bentley at tight end because EA fuck my de depth chart and formation subs. Let's go, Jalen Watermeyer. I I said I don't think he'll fall this low in in our actual draft. I'll be very surprised if he does. Yeah, uh, he'll, he'll, he'll make um, <laughs> Because someone's gonna OGD. want to get bit. He saw Saints paid up. He said, "Nah." We need to have to make sure that these guys aren't reaching their trade limit. Um, but anyway, I, I think the Raiders are done. I think the Raiders do have it. Actually, they're they're at their trade limit. If, 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 if the Renfro oh, wait, trade no. goes through, this is a. I'm not on my trade limit. I've only done two trades. I thought if it's only trading up, you're done. This is you can't even do that. Am I wrong? Or, or wait, if it, if it's just no, picks, I think that's I think... just on draft day. But all this stuff's for draft, though. Well, yeah, but it's... If, if it's... I think we already said if it's just picks, it's fine. I don't remember yeah. that. I think I'm saying that. That's why I said I looked somewhere. in the rule book. It said nothing about it. it, it the only... It, it just talks about draft day trades. Here, well, Drafts well, during the draft. Trades during the draft. Here, we'll, we'll, ask, we'll ask TFG for clarification and... And he'll, he'll update us after the stream. <laughs> what are we thinking here? Well, this is Shay's pick, isn't it? This is Shay's pick now. Washington? Oh, now that, that I got the wrong pain out of it. Did, he, did, he, did oh, Shay I'm get um, Oh, yeah, I, I'm done. Uh, that love. I was gonna ask if he got strong. Who got the fucking That's me. TV this loud? God damn it, Ty. It's my phone, my bad. <laughs> you have it inside the mic? <laughs> yeah, is it right up against it? God, yes. I felt like all I, I, I felt like, love. I felt like you guys. Should, I felt like you guys wouldn't be a part of the experience. My bad. Um, <laughs> what do the so? What does Washington Shay's back need? up. Uh, I mean, I think he would have liked Wittermeyer here, but Wittermeyer's gone now. Yeah, because he's. Logan, uh, Logan this could also be Jordan Davis with the move of Deron Payne now being gone, and uh, he wants to move Ionitis. This could be. I don't know if he's going Jordan to move Davis Ionitis. Again. Could be a corner. He... Yeah, it could corner, be a corner is a possibility. Yep, he could go. Um, they run a lot of zone, right? They could go. Uh, uh, what's his name? A mod gardener. Give him the sauce. Let's do a mod gardener. That's kind really? of a perfect scheme fit as well. I mean, actually, yeah, they need a Tim Settle at Nose, who, Tim Settle is a beast. Mm hmm Yeah, let's just go with that. I think it makes the most sense well, for I mean, Jay, after trading back up. He could also need, um, a linebacker, though, because, like, he has Kaliki Hudson. 
And his... I don't know if he was a linebacker. He takes this high at this point. Christian well, no, Harris. Ventrell Bryant. Ventrell... Oh, Christian, Christian Miller's Harris. already gone. Yeah, he went to the yeah. Chiefs. But... Wait, Ventrell Bryant's gone? Yep. Ventrell Miller is gone. Yeah, he went to the Lions. He's not here anymore. Oh, I didn't. I did not. Are, is it Bryant or Miller? I'm so confused. It's Miller. It's Ventrell Miller. Yeah. So Christian uh, Harris is the number one linebacker on the board. Yeah, he way earlier. Really, I thought Christian Harris. He went to the Chiefs. Did he? Okay, I didn't know that. Yep. Yeah. He went way early, like top ten. That's probably why I forgot. So about I it. think. Yeah, I think Ahmad Gardner <laughs> makes the most sense. Yeah, sauce. I'm just saying it's a crime that Nakobe yeah. deemed the day three prospect. And then... <laughs> you do Grim, do you have the last pick? Yeah. Grim does have the last pick. Okay, let's give him a um, kicker. Yeah. Phillip no, Drake, no, I'm no, probably... No, I, feel like, I feel like it's a kicker, Nick Benito bro. here. No, Nick yeah, especially if you trade Zedarius. Yeah. I need that cap to make bro. Is there interest in Sidarius, though? I don't... He pretty Does much he has to. Been... I was thinking well, he's I mean... a little punter. <laughs> <laughs> no, don't worry. I, I planned for losing Bohorquez by keeping uh, Hoff Richter on my practice squad all season. And so now <laughs> I have him under contract for next season. So, uh, JT Daniels, pick 32. Yeah, no, Desmond Slide Ritter, it. let's go. <laughs> Honestly, Desmond Ritter and then trading, like holding him, doing the exact same thing, trading him for a mid first, it wouldn't be a terrible idea because you could just like you traded love to a shit. Yeah, I'm not gonna fucking do that, dude. I'm, I, I don't care. I, I'm not taking a quarterback. It'd be, it'd be, it'd be so funny though. It'd be so fucking funny if you. Just I'm riding Aaron Rodgers' dick as long as he'll have me. That's that's <laughs> weird. <laughs> They could go Don't safety. worry, apparently I'm riding EA's dick for as long as it'll happen. Yeah, they could go safety in preparation for Amos. That's forward nah, thinking. Is there anyone no, well, worth Amos taking, played in the though? playoffs. Jordan <laughs> Davis. Brandon Joseph will be filthy. Uh, Brandon Joseph can't do the role Amos does. That's did, just not his wait, thing. Did Jordan okay, if we're looking at go? Amos' role, then Daxton Hill. Daxton Hill, yeah, could be. Wait, Jordan did... Battle, again, would be a consideration. Like... Did Tyreek Smith go? Uh, uh, Tyreek not, Smith not, 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 not Tyreek, Tyke. Or Tyke, yeah, Tyke Smith has not gone, no. He could definitely fill that most role yeah, as well. He could, he, he, could, he could go Smith or Battle if he wants to go safety. He could go, um... Uh, ben, I think that would be ben smart forward-thinking. Go, go with Tyke? And you can move Amos? I don't think that's, uh... I don't think you'll move Amos. Like I Amos said, it's, so that's well 